don't like, Vada Fly gonna recap this and say Gotti caught a 30 on the John Road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy, y'all the game. Time has Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire fly. We used to rock it like that. When a meteoroid reaches the Earth's atmosphere, it leaves behind it a trail of light that can be seen with the human eye. Talent for granted. Wasn't looking at my potential. God put me in position, man. You offered me words of encouragement. Allow me to return the favor. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, ricegangclothing.com. For the merchandise, you heard me right. Salute to every single one of y'all out there. I hope all is well in y'all perspective, days, weeks, and in your new year. You know what I'm saying? This year, to me, seems like an extension of 2020. It hasn't really seemed like much has changed. Like, I don't know what's going on out here in the world. I'm not going to delve too much into politics and all of that, but... Y'all see what's going on out here. And another thing that's going on is Jada Nightwing versus the return of New Jersey Twerk. Now, Jada Nightwing, uh, I'll say what I have to say about him in a few. New Jersey Twerk returning from not battling in about six, about six months since, um, you know, his car accident and things like that. And I know people say, oh, I don't like him. I don't really have an issue. I don't know that man like that. You know what I'm saying? If he's ever had an issue, it's because of something battle rap related. I've never said anything out of terms, you know, like when it comes to this platform, if an MC recycles or loses or whatever the case may be, I call it like it is, you know what I'm saying? If you don't like it, I really don't care. That's not my personal business. But what I will say is this, um, overall talent wise, um, we all know at his best, he's one of the brighter stars in battle rap, you know what I'm saying? But I've seen over the course of his career from when he first started versus the red handed and the rips and all of the um you know street battles that he's had like you know before he joined url he was like to me i was talking earlier about this i said he had almost like zion williamson in high school and college type talent like it was an mc that we had never really seen before you know what i'm saying we never really seen someone who could he started a whole wave of mcs there's like a hundred mini twerks now. Damn near everybody that's coming up is doing all of this. The gun sound, the bow, the headshot. They're doing all of this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? They, they rap like this. A lot of the battles that drop, when they sound like him or they're emulating him, I don't even recap them shits because they sound so, so similar. Like, he must have, his he, he must be paying a lot of money in child support because Twerk has a lot of fucking children. You know what I'm saying? Like, he has maybe about 20 25 kids you know what i'm saying realistically he has two salute to him and everything he's got going on but this is a new year you know what i'm saying so if the energy that people might have felt uh towards his battles and things like that i've relieved myself of it because regardless of how someone may feel or how mc may feel i know how to call a battle you know what i'm saying we don't have to be the coolest i don't have to be your friend i don't have to you know what i'm saying i don't have to do none of that but when i can see you making an effort to do better I will call it like it is, you know what I'm saying? That's why I always say I call it like I call it so I can't spoil it. But salute to him um, and his return. Uh, you know, he was unfortunately involved in some bad situations last year with the car accident and things like that, the norm situation, all that type of stuff that I really don't care. That has nothing to do with what he's got going on versus Jay the Nightwing, you know what I mean? And he was moving a little fast, you know what I'm saying? He said it in his um, in the trailer, and I'll talk about the trailer too, you know, taking for taking your talent for granted. I think we've all at times probably taken our talents for granted in some way or another. Not everybody does this, but maybe at work or in life or with family, you've taken your talent for granted. I have too. And now that I have the opportunity to do what I'm doing, I treat every single day like it could potentially be your last. You go, I go hard. I, I continue to work. I continue to grind. I continue to put out material because I don't ever want to take this for granted again. But uh, Jada Nightwing, Mr. Anders. Yo, Jaden Nightwing, I want to salute you. The trailer that you have, salute to Derez. Derez needs more. Derez needs more credit. Derez is the fucking orchestrator, the, the brain child behind the advancement in the, in the technology of these 
cinematic trailers. These the, he is the at the focal point, the epicenter, the reason why this shit is happening, and he does not get the credit he deserves. When you see my intro, and I feel like all of that, Vodafly, gonna recap this. Derez made that. All of the trailers that you see coming out, Derez made that. He's the he is the reason why this shit is happening the way it is. The trailer is phenomenal. I thought that he was battling daylight. That's how you put that's how well you put this trailer together. Like it was monumental. It was it was unlike anything I dun, 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 nigga. What? Nigga who? That shit was fucking crazy. Salute to you, Derez. Now let's get to Jaden Nightwing. Jaden Nightwing, phenomenal MC, dope talent. He's battled a lot of people. You know, he, he went through Ultimate Madness, made it all the way to the last battle versus Fonz. He could have he could have won that 25,000, but you know, his last battle was a little shaky. But he had some battles in there where he showed us some things. Uh, since then, his last battle I seen him in was versus the Saga. Uh, he's got a, uh, to me, a very fire joint versus Emerson Kennedy that dropped. Uh, they was both on another level in that battle. We recapped that though. We re definitely recapped that because uh, What did Emerson Kennedy said I have Mountains of substance that turned to thousands and hundreds. I put it all on the counter think they used to call me counterproductive <laughs> Emerson that shit stuck in my motherfucking mind um, and now you see uh, I looked at Jaden Nightwing like when he's serious you know, and I don't want to say it like that because, you know, he, he he takes the game serious, but he's like, I feel like, and I feel like that he should apply the logic of wanting to kill his opponent in every battle. You know what I'm saying? I feel like there's times where I personally felt like Jaden Nightwing has took his foot off the gas a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And then he'll do these things where he'll be like, you know, bro, 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 your socks are corny. Your mom's adores me. What I'm here to do now is to show you that you ain't made a lot before me. Like he does, like he could freestyle, but I don't want the freestyle. I want you to be in your motherfucking bag. And I will say this, versus an MC like New Jersey Twerk, who at his best, like we're not talking about the low points of anyone's career. I don't care about what y'all want to talk about from two years ago, from last year, from three years ago. It is what it is. The man's getting a clean start, so I'm judging it based off of that. You are all setting you up to die, Jaden Nightwing. They are literally alleying you up to the sky to get you clean the fuck out of here. I didn't. I heard that uh, Tori was supposed to battle somebody else on his re on his return, but who who am I? What do I know? I'm just a nigga with a camera, so I'm not gonna get into speculation. Um, but what I will say is, uh, if I'm a betting man. I'm going with New Jersey Twerk, because that's the safe bet, based off of what I've seen, based off of what I know. But based off of what Jada Nightwing can do, he can make this a battle. Trust and believe, he can certainly make this a battle. There's no reason why he cannot, but he has to strike fast and strike early, because they're going to, from New Jersey Twerk's last performance, I believe it was versus Swamp, uh, he didn't get off the way he wanted to. And he it was because he jerseyed in it. Jersey, 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 Jersey. Um, if he would have got all three of his rounds off, he might have beat, he probably would have beat Swamp. Because the way his first round was set up, he was wilding on him. And he definitely could have got off on him. If he'd have got if he'd have got all three rounds off, he'd have made it debatable. Twerk is like the first person that I've ever seen that as long as he gets all three rounds off, motherfuckers are gonna make it debatable. That's why he say he's never lost anybody. He's only beat himself. Like literally the only battles that he that people are giving him L's for really is ones that he don't get off all three rounds. Nigga that had six months. <laughs> Jay the Nightwing, nigga that had six months. You think this nigga not gonna be ready for you? Are you fucking crazy? Don't even I hope you're not even watching this blog right now. I hope you're in your bag um working on your material. It's at the bottom of the card, respectfully, because you know Twerk got to show that uh, that he got he still got handled. You know what I mean? I'm sure he still do. You know, and at the end of the day, I like New Jersey Twerk. You know what I'm saying? Like our difficulties or differences have been all battle rap related. Nothing ever else. It's always been my opinion on battle rap, and that's just that. You don't have to like it. But it is what it is. There's almost 70,000 people on this channel. You think I ain't gonna say what I want? You got me fucked up. 
So, with this being said, I hope he shows up and shows the world again what he can do. I got a lot of hope in him and I got confidence in him. And I think that uh, he's going he's gonna to be in his bag. And um, yeah, I don't know if it's going to be in that small room with nobody there. Because you know when he come, you know that we get the, get the bounce in this shit. I'm with the body with the hoodie. Down. He got the theatrics, you know what I'm saying? He got the strapped in, shit like that, shit like that, shit like that. Um, Jada Nightwing. You, it's on you, my nigga. Trailer was amazing, but it's on you. You're gonna have to show that you're um, a next level MC. Uh, and what I when I say this, next level MC, I'm talking about able to show that you can take it to the next level. Because what we have here is we have a, a situation where there's a there's a, a level of MCs. You know what I'm saying? It's a the pendulum swings. You'll have, out of every class, there's a guy or two that can go up to the next level, show that they can hang with the MCs. Uh, Jerry West just showed it in, in the last year. Somebody gets put behind the machine, you know what I'm saying? The machine gets behind a new MC every year. It happened with Geechee, it happened with Twerk. Last year it happened with Jerry West, it happened with Rum Nitty. There's, they, they pick, you know what I'm saying, different MCs who they put the machine behind and give a full push to. They did it with drugs drugs but I, I'm gonna just leave that alone but they they put the machine behind people and giving them all kind of battles and it, it you'll see if the person can either barbecue or mildew you know what I'm saying either they're gonna rise or drop but um if Jada Nightwing is starting off his year like this uh if he shows winning is important but showing us that you can hang with a with a higher level MC is really what the goal is because you have battles like Easy to Black Captain versus T Top that just happened. And it's cool that you have people saying T Top won, a lot of people saying Easy won. Those debates are healthy. There's nothing wrong with a healthy debate. You can feel how you feel. But when you got enough in the grinder to be able to facilitate your argument, you can encompass an MC being able to transition himself to a higher level, you know what I'm saying? Like he easy to blind captain is earning that respect because he's getting bigger name battles and he's showing up, he's arriving, whether you like him or not. Now, I was having a conversation with my people earlier and they were saying, yeah, it's cool, but what happens when there's nothing else to talk about but the drug talk? Is he gonna be able to, whatever, I don't wanna hear it because until that happens, it doesn't matter. It's all hyperbole. You're just stating what could happen. But what is happening is the person is excelling and he's showing that he could uh that he can do it at this level. So as long as that's the case, what else are we talking about? Really, you don't got a point. I mean you can try to make one, but as long as somebody's continuing to do their thing, it doesn't really matter. Jay the Nightwing, for you, this is either you're gonna continue to trend upwards or you're gonna be on born store legacy barbershop legacy crucible survivor series type shit niggas don't really care about them battles i'm just being honest with you niggas don't really, if it's under anything under like born legacy niggas don't really care about I, i'm i'm the homie i I'm, I'm telling you as your man niggas don't really care about them them battles dropping niggas don't even recap them i'm, I'm just being honest with you Maybe a one every now and then. If somebody shines extremely in one of them joints, like when Kid Chaos came through and he shut shit down in the battle with uh, was it Rubando or whatever. When Kid Chaos first came through, that type of shit it shines, so it's able to be talked about. But it's just you have to be able to show it in this battle versus New Jersey Twerk. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, your third round versus Saga. I think that was the one where you was really getting crazy. You got to get crazy in this one. Like, you really, really, really going to have to get crazy. And I hope that you see this. Because I got a lot of hope for you. And I got a lot of admiration for you. But coming back, first New Jersey twerk, on a caffeine stream, nigga, what? You going to need some shit. You going to really need some shit, dog. I'm telling you, you cannot come up in there joking around, playing around, 
looking like the 18th man off the bench because that nigga's going to come back and he's going to try to make an example out of you. Out of you. He's going to try to make an example out of you. Because the nigga said in the trailer, he's dope, but he's not me. What do you think that means? That means he's going to come back and he's going to try to make an example out of you. Overall, I think it's a fire battle. Um, hopefully, New Jersey's work is back and then it's back. And he doesn't get comfortable again because until he got comfortable and went to see the tolerance became an issue because people started to tolerate the things that were happening you know what i'm saying so when you tolerate you know he was short in rounds and he was using material from other battles and it was very it was tolerated and then the thing is once anybody anybody who said anything about it was either anything you could think of online or you was getting blocked if you said anything other than coddling it and it does life doesn't work like that and i hope that in his return you know, he, he sees things from a clearer perspective and understands that at the end of the day, we're all fans. Nobody doesn't set out and want you to intentionally do bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody doesn't do that. Like, don't just watch the bad videos about you and think that that's the vibe or that's what people's energy is on. No, we want you to do good, but if you leave us with no choice, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? We got to call it down the middle. Call it like I call it so I can't spoil it. But he's back. Let's see what happens. Jaden Nightwing, you got your work cut out for you. Let's see where it goes. You dig? Madness.